Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now today's topic is about an animal, a very special animal. It's the biggest animal in the world and it's also people say that it's one of the smartest, most dangerous and probably the most um, indicative or representative of the ocean. It's sort of the king of the ocean and it is the whale. However, these whales are in trouble and we're going to see what's bothering them. Safely sharing the water. So again, we're sharing the water with not only whales but all sorts of animals. And actually humans are, I'm going to guess that they're a big problem in this. Alright, let's find out. In the Pacific Ocean near California, both whales and fishermen, people who fish, search for crabs and food. Right. Uh, they're sharing it. However, in recent years, the ocean is getting warmer. It's getting hotter than usual. So the whales are swimming closer to the land where the fishermen work. So before, this was the land right near me. Uh, the fishermen would fish here. The whales would be way far away and in deep into the ocean, right? So they're sort of sharing the space. But now, the oceans are getting warmer. So the whales are coming closer and closer to the fishermen. Sometimes, now this is the problem here, the whales become tangled. The tangled means to be messy and you can't pull apart to be sort of trapped and you know, tied up in fishing gear and are injured to die. So fishermen, they use these big nets and when the whales swim into it, they get tangled, they, get, they can't breathe. Of course, they're mammals, so they die. In one year, more than 60 whales there have had rope caught or stuck in their mouths or twisted around their tails or their fin. Um, often the sea mammals cannot free themselves, right? They don't have fingers like this and die as a result. So fishermen, environmental groups, these people are people that want to protect the earth, protect the environment and the trees and living things and all nature and government agencies are partnering, they're working together to protect the whales. Rescue crews, people who go around saving these whales, sort of like uh, whale uh, ambulances, are only able to save some of the whales because they cannot always track where the others have gone. They cannot always track, they cannot always follow all of these whales. So the ones they can follow, maybe one or you know a couple, they can save them, but some they cannot track, they cannot follow, so of course they will die. Because the food industry relies on the fish, crab and lobsters and other seafood, the food industry <coughs> sorry, is talking about all the business of food. So uh, supermarkets, your farms, your e-mart and all these home plus, these are all part of the food industry. We need that because we eat that, right? Uh, we need or rely on the fish, crab, lobsters, and other seafood. The government does not want to hurt the businesses that are involved. So the government does not want to hurt us. Hurt us not like our bodies, but hurt us like our money. If you know, we want to save these fish, lob crab, crabs, and lobsters, we might have to pay more money these businesses might go out of business because they cannot you know, sell it to us anymore. Instead, they are working together to improve equipment, to uh, improve means to make better their tools so it does not harm whales, as well as notify rescue crews when fishermen see an entangled whale. So what they're going to do is they're going to improve or make better their tools, uh, their nets and their boats, and they're also going to work together. They're going to communicate with each other. If a fisherman sees a whale, he will call the rescue crew and say, hey, I'm over here. And the rescue crew will come and they will save the entangled or tied up whale. Okay. We have three review questions here. First one, what happened in recent years when the ocean became warmer than usual? The whales blank closer to land where the fishermen work. So what do whales 
do 99.9% .9 of their lives, they're not walkers, they are swimmers, right? So they swim closer to the land where the fishermen work. Uh, swim is an irregular verb. The past tense of swim is not swimmed. We don't say swimmed. We say swam. So the whale swam, past tense, closer to land where the fishermen work. B, why are the rescue crews, the rescue teams, not able to save all the whales? They cannot always blank where the whales have gone. So again, the whales, they don't have smartphones. They cannot call people, right? It is the rescue team's job to follow and find these whales. And another word to say follow and find and to uh, locate is to track. When we're tracking an animal, we are following it, whether it be GPS or with our eyes, we can track it and we're following and trying to catch it. Uh, C, what is the government doing to not hurt the businesses that are involved? So the government wants to help the animals and also help, help the food industry, which is the marts and the fishermen and the consumers, you and I, the people who eat. They are working together to blank equipment so it will not harm whales and allow commercial fishermen to keep doing their jobs, right? So they don't lose their jobs. So right now, these equipment that the fishermen use, these tools, their nets, their boats, maybe their hooks or things like that, they're very old and these old fashioned equipment <clears throat> is dangerous. They're killing the whales. So they want to sort of update these tools, they want to update these equipment and to make better, not for worse, and that is to improve something. So when we improve our scores, uh, it means our scores are going up. When we improve an equipment, we're making the tool or equipment better, faster, cleaner. Okay, uh, we have three key terms here. A, sometimes the whales become blank in fishing gear. So the problem is the fishing gear is stopping the whales from swimming, whether it's holding onto their tail, whether it's tying them or twisting them or just really capturing them in the net. It's stopping the whales and to become all tangled, oh sorry, I said the answer already, to be all twisted and turned around is to be tangled up. So when we're tying our shoelaces, we sort of put it in a tangle or when we don't wash our hair for a long time, our hair can be tangled. B, so the fishermen, environmental groups and government agencies are blank to protect the whales. So these are the different people that want to save the whales, that want to help the whales that are involved in the ocean and they are sort of working together. They're forming a team, they're joining together, and to be joined into a team, that is called partnership. Uh, of course, we can say, this is my partner. If you have a science lab partner, then it's one student and you, and you two are partners, you're a team. C, the food industry, blank, on the fish, crab, lobsters, and other seafood. The food industry, of course, is talking about all the people that are uh, working for food. So such as the fishermen, uh, the boat companies, the marts, the fishing marts at uh, Norangjin near Yoido. Um, all these food uh, workers, they need or they sort of require these animals. We, they need them. If they don't have them, they don't have a job, they can't feed their families, they have no money. So another word to say that we need these things is to rely on. So who do you rely on? You, who do you need? You rely on your mother, you rely on your father, your grandmother, uh, these. And we also rely on other people such as we rely on police officers to keep us safe. We rely on, we need firefighters to fight fires. So to review, tangled is to be all tied and twisted and turned around where you can't move anywhere, sort of like a fish in a net, they get tangled. Partnering is to be 
uh, sort of in a team to join together, to work together. And to rely on is to need the help of, to require the assistance of somebody. So we rely on our mothers to feed us and we rely on police officers to protect us. All right. So as we are all part of this food industry, right? We all eat fish and we sometimes eat these animals. So we really have to think about, you know, all the different services and people and jobs that go into bringing us this food in front of us. It's easy for us to just open a can of food, but there's a lot of people and agencies and animals and you know, environments that have to work together to bring that food in front of you, all right? So we should appreciate everything we get. All right, so thank you for joining us for Junior Times. My name's Chris from Beatingtown. I'll see you next time.